welcome to Pario Magazine, where I chat with individuals who have a desire to create. Today, I'm joined by a Gold Coast-based rapper whose new single, Who Dis, has just dropped recently. Welcome to Pario Magazine, Bailey Rodriguez. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. So we're here today to chat about your musical journey and the new single, Who Dis. Before we dive into that, though, do you want to give our audience a brief introduction as to who Bailey is away from music? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, music's been a big part of my life, obviously. Um, it's not majority of it, though. Like, I, outside of it, I love sport. I love flying as well. I actually have my license and all that. Um, and then, yeah, it kind of all ties together with music. That's the end goal, right? I want to do that for my career. So I, I could say my whole life's based around based around the the craft anyway okay nice to have that sort of pilot's license and if you begin touring a lot you can fly yourself around to, to show yeah it's all handy that's the goal hey have save, your own plane and fly save yourself. a bit of money that way yeah absolutely <laughs> so in terms of the the musical passion when did you first discover this love um like I've always loved music and hip hop and stuff ever since I was younger, a little kid. Um, but it really started kicked off when I met Jeezy in like 2016, I think, backstage at one of his shows um, in Brizzy. It's like a real low key show, and we met him for like five five minutes, basically got a photo with him, everything, and yeah, he just seemed awesome, man. Like blew my mind, kind of his whole lifestyle and like persona and the effect he had on everyone in that room. I was just, it just like switched something in me. I was like, this is exactly what I want to do. Like just like started rapping the week after that, really. And that's where it all began. Okay. How old were you at that point? Um, I was, I was 16. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so pretty young, but just, yeah. Blew my mind, man. It was awesome. Kicked off the, the musical journey and career. Nice and young. Yeah. So like starting before like- then. I didn't even have, like, I haven't been playing instruments or anything. I wasn't producing or even writing lyrics. So, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Did you have sort of other career paths in mind up until that point? Or was this like yeah, the first was, thing where you're like, I can go this way? I was going to be a pilot. Like, that was the that was the goal, you know, get your, get my commercial license and join the, <clears throat> join the airlines or the Air Force or something. But, um, yeah, that split second, like, moment. I was just like, I don't want to be a pilot anymore. I want to do this. Like, That's fair. I guess you can go down this path and you can always go and join commercial airlines when you're 40, 50, trying yeah, to I, wind down I can a little always, bit. Yeah, I can always fly, but the music thing is a, you have a short period to, you know, make the most of it and feel like the time's now for sure. Very nice. So in terms of those early musical influences, was he... The, the biggest one or were there other sort of musical artists and acts that you looked at for inspiration? Yeah, he was definitely the main one, especially in those earlier days. Um, but like we were also, I was listening to a lot of Mac Miller back then, a lot of Russ, um, a lot of like Kendrick Lamar and stuff like that as well too. So he was definitely the main one, but I wouldn't say majority of it. It was definitely spread throughout hip hop, even like the old school boom bap and, you know, like Big E, Big L, Nas and all that. It's heavily like influenced by the boom bap era. I think I, yeah, I was only writing to boom bap beats for like a year, two years. No, like no, yeah, no different beats from that. So they were a massive influence too. And how have your influences changed over the years? Like obviously your music is quite unique and different these days. So I imagine they've, they've changed a lot. Yeah, definitely. I definitely, um, I wouldn't say Jeezy is the biggest influence anymore. Um, I love Mac Miller. Like he's got to be one of my favorite artists and his, he's so different as well. Like his style of music and the way he writes and performs his music. Um, so yeah, it's definitely different. And where I'm trying to find, I'm in that weird stage of like artistry where I'm trying to find my own sound and where I like to sit you know, throughout the industry. So yeah, it's definitely different. And I feel like I'm getting there. I feel like I'm in a really good spot right now with this like house music, rap, upbeat stuff. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay. And with those influences, you've created this new single, uh, blending hip hop and house music styles. Can you tell us a little bit more about the, the story behind this single and sort of heading down that path with music? 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, my producer, Matt, actually, we had a our last release together was the first time we jumped into this house house rap era, um, like style. And that was influenced from like Drake's latest album. Um, there's an artist called Mike from the States as well. He's kind of pushing into this house music like scene. And then um, of course, Young Franco, it's a massive, massive influence for that. Um, so we've kind of just like put all that together in our own style on it. And yeah, this is what's come out. And that's the same thing we've done with Who Dis. We're just pushing it even more and trying to find out our spot in that lane. Um, it's heavily Young Franco influence for this one. And yeah, we just like purely going off like just a good vibe. We want people to listen to the music and immediately feel like that good, good vibe of like day drinking during the summer with all your mates like out in the sun. Cut perfect time to get this song out into the world now. Yeah, exactly. Like it's perfect summertime. The weather's picking up as well. Like the sun's shining. I could, I could definitely have a day drink or two right now. <laughs> and then in terms of the inspiration for this song in particular, what was the guiding force for the story behind this song? Um, We were actually, we were in the studio after we released our last song. Um, We were just, we we're just like, it was a good vibe because obviously it was release day. Our new music just came out. It's always exciting. Um, and Matt had the beat already. We were just messing around. I actually had some verses written for another song, but Matt played me this beat and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Like, so we put the, put the verses on and then we're like, okay, like this is something. And then we started working on a chorus together. Um, and yeah, like we finished the chorus together in the studio the same day. And we're like, wow, this is actually, we're onto something here again. And then we polished it up and yeah, like finished it the same day. And yeah, we were just vibing, just good vibes straight away. Is that sort of something you've found with hip hop where it's hard to sort of pre-plan these songs out? You can't sit down and just write out a whole song by yourself at home without hearing part of the beat or the beat first? Yeah, definitely. The, the way I work as well creatively, like I like to put on beats and just freestyle to them until I like find, find a vibe or I say something that like clicks with the beat. So <clears throat> I could go through like 10 beats trying to, trying to find the one, you know, before I write to actually like put something down on the paper. Um, so it's definitely like, yeah, we don't want to force anything. You can't plan it too much in that sense. Like if it, if it happens, it's natural sort of thing. And with this sort of house influence style, how did you, settle on this as this is the direction I want to take my music career? Um, That's a good one. Um, I don't know. I just like, I'm, I'm enjoying making that style of music a lot. Um, there's a, you can make like, I've been making a lot of conscious rap and you can dive into my older stuff. There's a lot of, you know, um, you know, you could call it a bit of like sad rap or there's like some like songs about girls and stuff like that. And there's a lot of different stuff. And, this house house rap is kind of, I'm having the most fun making it. And that's, I think is the most important part is like, you've got to enjoy what you're doing creatively. Otherwise you're not going to put out your best work. So yeah, I really think this is my best work because I enjoy it the most. Okay. And this is the, the second single this year. Does this suggest we could be looking out for an EP or an album in the near future? Yeah, definitely, man. This was actually the first single from our EP, me and Matt are working on. Um, so we got a six song EP coming out early 2023. Um, and it'll all be this style of music as well. Just just house rap, good vibes. So if you like who dis, then you're going to love the EP. Okay, brilliant. And then what else is on the horizon to close out this year and kick off 2023? Is there touring planning or live shows happening at the moment? Yeah, man. So this year we'll fin uh, finish up polishing the EP. Um, Who Dis will be the last single of the year. We're working on a music video for Who Dis as well, which will be cool. Shot on like the Gold Coast um, <clears throat> and a little bit down the coastline in like Byron and stuff, which will be awesome. Um, and then, yeah, polish up, finish off this year. And next year when the EP comes out, we're looking to do a, a release party. It'll be like a pool party on the Gold Coast, looking to lock in a venue for that. A um, couple, couple live performances there as well. And then we'll just have a DJ and a massive party. <clears throat> and then, yeah, next year, hopefully, yeah, trying to land some festival lineups and all that and get into the touring side of things too, especially with the EP. It'll be good, good to get that out there and live perform it. 
yeah, perfect timing. Summer, this this t- style of music. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. See you at a festival. Perfect. Fun start for 2023. Yeah, absolutely. And finally, where is the best place for people to support you and track your creative journey moving forward and obviously keep up with these future show announcements? Um, I'd definitely say Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is bailey.rodriguez. That's where I'm most active. Um, you know, you see everything behind the scenes and uh, release dates and everything, events and all that. So, yeah, definitely Instagram for sure. All righty. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me and good luck with the the rest of the year with this single and then EP and future shows. No, nah, all good, man. I appreciate you having me. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you.